Hello and welcome to this episode of Microchips. This is part three of the TriStar 747 conversion and today we're looking at the uh, band select. So we've got a lot of wires coming from my modification board that we need to assign to switches. And we also need to take this band select out and replace it with a four way band select to accommodate the UK 40. So it should be easy enough. Looking at the schematic, there's actually three sections to this band select. There's one section that just switches the high lamp on. There's one section that switches from 1 to 40 to 41 to 80. And then the last section is the actual switching of the crystals to the on the crystal oscillator board. So first off, we're going to remove the connections to the lamp for the high channels. And we're going to repurpose that lamp later. So basically we've got some voltage on one side and then we've got the wire to the light that then goes through a resistor. Just confirming that with a multimeter. Now what we need to work out now is the connections for the 41 to 80 display. So using a multimeter again, we can work this out. And what it's basically doing is changing the first LED bank, or should we say the first digits on the LED. So the green wire is actually one to 40 and the blue wire gives a 41 to 80. And then the black wire is the negative. So as you can see, by just shorting the wires together, we're just changing the first segment from, from a one to a five. So basically on our modification, we need to join three of the wafers together, or should we say three of the switch contacts together for the 40 and then to recreate our high band we need to connect the blue wire now these are the wires to the crystal oscillator board that's easy enough they just correspond with the crystals so we started to wire up the band select there so we've got one common wire and three bands coming from the crystal oscillator board now for my pick modification i didn't want to use a whole side of the switch so what I've done is I've put a 10k resistor in line with the power, which has brought the voltage down to four and a half volts, which is enough for the pick. And to stop it interfering with the high, but to enable the high as well, we've dropped a diode in place, which then isolates it when it's on UK 40, but still powers the high band. As you can see, the band select works nicely. So low, mid, high and UKFM work. So now we've connected up there, which is the 41 to 80 readout on high band and the 1 to 40 on the other channels, or should we say the other bands. So with a little bit of fiddling about and slightly enlarging the hole, we managed to get the band select in. And now we need to work on the front switches. So I've loosened off the tone and the CBPA. And as you can see there, I've isolated the tone circuits and I've also isolated the CBPA, but we've left the supply connected to the CBPA switch because we will be using that. So there's the alphas connected up and we've also connected the front high light to correspond when the alpha switch is on and the simple connections for the minus 5kc on the other switch 
well, as you can see works nice and easy and the alphas work as well now at this time I hadn't noticed but I'd actually blown the bulb must have knocked it so I did actually replace the high bulb with an LED so you can see the minus 5 works on the alphas as well So to get to UKFM, instead of just selecting UKFM and swinging the clarifier fully to the left, we can select UKFM, drop it down to zero and turn the clarifier slightly to the right. And that gives us the on frequency. I'm sure there's a way of doing this just by flicking the switch. On one of the spare contacts on the rotary switch, But it's not a problem just flicking the switch and moving the clarifier slightly. So everything seems to be on frequency. Alphas seem to be working nicely. So here's the radio with its front back on. As you can see, I've dropped a little bit of acrylic paint over some places it can easily be removed if not needed you can see the band select works nicely now i did actually have to do a couple of other modifications to this one which i did forget which was changing the value of r1 from 3.3 to 5.6k to improve ssb audio because of this minus 5kc uh, modification and in the end I actually had to um, readjust the carrier balance because it was slightly out. But all in all I did some on-air tests with it and um, the receiving stations said I had good audio. So that was pleasing to hear even though it was just on a standard microphone. So how we've got this configured now on the radio, we've got CB is normal and I've painted out the P on PA, so A is for alpha and I've painted out where it says tone, so we've got high and low, so high is a fives and low is zeros. And obviously I've got the UK FM on the band switch, so that's now a four way band switch with an extra band off high to the right. So all in all, happy with the way it's turned out. So there we have it, that's the TriStar 747 fully modified with my pick modification. I hope you all enjoyed the video. If anybody's got any comments, please leave them in the uh, section below. Maybe there's something I've forgotten, who knows. But anyway, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.